the last topic that I want to talk about is Python lists. It turns out there are many implementations of Python and the most popular one is something called CPython where everything is implemented in C. So this is the official GitHub repository which you can search for CPython and in it you will find C code. Now that C code is going to be a little bit hard to read. It uses many advanced concepts in C. But our friend is deeply curious about one particular aspect. You see, it turns out Python lists are actually implemented internally using arrays. So our friend wants to know if a list is actually just an array, how does list.append work where you can dynamically add one more item? We have seen there are three ways in which memory can be allocated for an array. Either a fixed size array where the size is determined at compile time or a variable length array which is again a fixed size determined at runtime or dynamically allocated on the heap. And that third option can grow. But each time we call malloc, we have some fixed size. But in Python, we seem to be able to call append any number of times. What would happen if that fixed amount ran out of space? Then how does list.append work? Well, we're going to try and demystify this. We are going to actually create, using generative AI, a simplified version of lists. Python's lists are heterogeneous. We are going to focus on lists of integers. And Python lists have many, many methods and functions that you can use with them. We are going to focus on creating an empty list. We are going to mimic the len function in Python. We are going to mimic uh, the ability to index into a list, including using negative indexing, which is not available in C. And lastly, the list dot append method, although we will write it as a function, not a method. So let's hop over into our Visual Studio Code editor, where I have the GitHub Copilot extension available to help us.